Hey Divine Fems, good morning. I hope all of you ladies are having a great, fantabulous, dope-ass Saturday. I pray that all is well. I pray that you slept well and you woke up with unbothered energies. Um, I want to do a message that I feel is super urgent because I've been... Tarot readers have really been making their mark lately in our community and it's just mind-boggling because it's just the way that they decide to go about it. It's kind of like they like use the most heightened uh, time of the year where like all of the energy is just all over and running rampant to like manipulate um, you know the community in a way where they're just monetizing over it. It's low-key acts of like the devil if you think about it and that's why I'm feeling really like inspired to make a video um, towards this particular situation because I've been surrounded around great divine feminines within the last couple of weeks who have just been like unsure about when they're getting to union and you know just like worried about like their twin flame relationships and like life and jobs and their careers and their like life purpose and all of that jazz so you know they've been kind of you know pushing, you know, getting, like, cards done and speaking to psychics and spiritual healers and all this stuff, you, I want you guys to realize that all tarot card readers are not good, like, they're not, um, they take their, those are the type of people that are, like, imbalanced as fuck, number one, because, they're not doing acts. They're not using their gifts to make a positive stamp in the world. They're using their gifts to indulge in selfishness and self-love. That's not self-love. That's that's not of like peace and harmony and all that stuff. It's for like benefiting, you know, being beneficial to themselves in a way. Very selfish. It stems from, like, real low vibrational thoughts of self and, you know, they, they're takers. They're not givers. They don't want to give you hope. They want to give you hope in the wrong sense. They want to give you hope in the sense that things are, like, going to continue. You ever just notice, like, how tarot readers suck you in? Like... You know, you get, like, one reading for them, and then that shit is spot on, and they tell you what you want to hear, and then you just continue going back to them for answers. And they're taking that attention to, like, continue to monetize off of it, so they start selling you shit, like, oh, I have a potion for this, I have a potion for that. If you want him to come back, like, by next week, he'll come back. Guys, come on. Like... We have to detach from this three, third dimensional way of thinking. It's low forms of vibrational energy. And it's just going back and forth, the energy. It's like, I, I, I don't even really know if I can explain it. All I can say is that we're, a majority of us are codependent on these readers. When in actuality, you have the power to determine your destiny. And you don't even like... You're not continuing to like accept that. You're scared of that. Why like why are you guys so scared of your power? Like I never go to anyone to get a reading. I look at I used to look at horoscopes real heavy when I was younger, but after a while this shit the more I was just like living life, I'm like, man, this shit don't really apply to me for real. This is general as fuck. Like, yeah, I'm a Libra, but I found my natal chart and there's so many other signs and planets that revolve around my true essence. You feel me? And it's the same for you guys. So, like, just know that it's just a whole bunch of shit. I don't even know if I can get into it the way I want to. But all I can say is, like, there are good tarot readers. And it's not even, like, they don't even call themselves tarot readers. We're light workers, okay? I don't call myself a tarot reader. I'm not trying to tell you your future. I simply do readings. Um, first of all, I only do readings if I feel guided to do readings. That's number one, okay? And number two, I don't even say that I'm, like, a reader. I'm, I, 
I identify myself as a healer because any reading that I choose to do for someone is for purpose and that purpose is to benefit you you know what I'm saying it doesn't benefit me in any way except the fact that I'm blessed enough to like be involved in your like growth you feel me like if I'm giving you a reading I'm giving you a reading because God wants you to hear what you have to hear at that moment and it's going to be nothing but love and positive energy that's why I say like when I do my readings and I get like an upside down card reverse card that doesn't mean nothing negative in my deck that means that that's what you that's the issue you need to focus that's the segment in your life that's particular point in your life that you need to focus on and those cards that surround that one reversed card is the things that you can do to help lift your vibration and accomplish that focus you feel me like tarot readers are out here telling like doing readings saying like petty shit like divine masculine is having fun pretty much um indulging in sexual activities like why would you want why would you want to bring a divine feminine down like that unless you were working for another team you feel me and that's what you guys need to understand that was just one example of a tarot reader i got um inspired from one of the lovely women in my um united divine um divine feminine group that's just one example there are tarot readers out here on youtube just saying the most off shit and like the more we like look for validation out there the more mixed up we get in the head because one reader said this another reader said that and now we're just like what's right what's wrong you're fucking yourself up stop looking at that shit detox meditate pray and your answers is going to come through you you don't need nobody telling you what the fuck is about to happen in your life you know you're into your story if you feel like your twin is your twin and you feel gravitated towards him it's for a purpose and he feels that same energy and you know what it is like just be patient just chill like everything isn't happening in divine timing there are agents out here we are in spiritual warfare we don't have time to be out here fucking around trying to absorb anybody's energy tarot readers are taking your power every time you indulge and entertain them okay guys so if it's an agent of like demonic entities that is within that um psychic or if that psychic is doing more so dark energy and not doing no light energy like you are fucking with the other side you're not fucking with sources of light you're fucking with sources of darkness and i'm gonna tell you right now how they do it because they they demons Just as much as angels are angels know what's going on in our lives, demons do too. Demons are dead ass watching our every move. They know how we operate. They know our um, triggers. They know all of that shit. So you have to be very careful who you get your energy to. If there's a demon after you for a specific purpose to bring down your lower vibration and you fuck with a tarot reader who is also vibrating of that low vibration energy, who also has that shit, you know what she gonna do? She probably gonna give you a little real insight. Maybe your twin flame will come back into your life, okay? But she's gonna tell you another negative thing that's gonna happen, okay? And that negative thing is gonna stay in your mind, okay? So much that you're gonna continue to think about that bullshit she just fed you, and that shit gonna come to manifestation. Why? Because you have the power, whether you wanna believe it or not, to manifest things, guys. Okay, and you know what happens after you manifest that one thing that she tells you that's that's negative in your eyes? You're going to go back to her. What? And then you're going to spend more money. And what is she going to do? She's going to continue feeding you more negative thoughts. And the demons that are working with her are going to make sure 110 percent that that fucking shit comes to manifestation. So it's going to be a cycle. And that shit's going to continue to eat you and eat you up until your vibrations are just so low you're just depressed. That's the scary thing about YouTube. There's light YouTube and there's dark YouTube. You need to be careful who the fuck you watch. You need to be careful who you go see. I personally, I don't let nobody tell me a reading unless it's random. Okay? And I don't, and I damn sure, if it's a message from God, you better believe your ass don't have to pay for it. I'm not paying nobody shit. Okay? I don't care if you're top notch because that energy that that psychic has, you better believe you have it too. I know I have it, okay? I know my power. I know my worth, okay? Anything 
positive that I want manifest manifests itself, okay? Anything negative that I focus I used to focus on back in the day, that shit will come to manifestation. You guys have to be careful. Stop depending on other people to tell you what you want to hear. Stop looking for validation. Just chill. Just be to yourself. Just pray and meditate. And all of that shit is going to come to surface for you. You don't need nobody to tell you what's going to happen between your divine counterpart. Okay, you don't need nobody to tell you if you're going to get a job. You know what the fuck is about to happen. That gut feeling that you have that that motherfucker is going to come back into your life is going to happen. It's not going to happen today. It might not happen next month. It could happen next year. It can happen in five years. Just chill. Just enjoy your time on this planet, guys. And that's all I want you to know. Okay, so I might do another video pertaining to this situation, um, other aspects of it. But in the meantime, guys, please be careful who you give your energy to. We are in troubling times right now, and you don't got time on this beautiful, positive Saturday to be dwelling and looking on YouTube for validation of things that you already know is going to come to fruition. Stop worrying about other people. Worry about yourself. Get yourself right today, okay? I love you guys. Have a blessed day. If you like this video, like, share, subscribe to me if you're digging me. I love you all. I pray for nothing but the best, all right? Namaste.